The Nasdaq posted a record close today, and the Dow and the S&P 500 are both trading less than 1 percent from their own all-time highs. Joining us now is Eric Johnston, head of equity derivatives and cross-asset strategy at Cantor Fitzgerald. Eric recently downgraded his outlook for stocks to neutral. And Eric, it's, uh, it's great to have you on to talk through exactly what, uh, what led to this shift. I know you've, just to set things up, you had been pretty bullish on stocks for, you know, dating back into uh, deep into last year, uh, had a 4,400 target on the S&P, which was achieved uh, just last month. Now, what was it? What were the set of conditions that caused you to step aside uh, just last week or so? Sure. So for, for background, you know, we told our clients in November of last year that this was the most bullish sort of outlook, risk reward in equity markets that I had seen in my career between fiscal spending and monetary policy being of historic proportions. And that being in combination with the consumer um, who had significant pent up demand and pent up savings coming out of the pandemic. And that cocktail, that combination of factors was so powerful. But if you fast forward to where we are now, we are at a inflection point. If you look at monetary policy, uh, we think the Fed's about 85 percent of the way through the asset purchases. Um, you have the ECB talking about now tapering. You have South Korea uh, raising interest rates. So monetary policy globally is in the process of starting to tighten. You have fiscal policy uh, that has now turned negative year over year, and we expect that to continue for the next uh, you know, year and a half. And then if you look at growth estimates, so GDP growth has gone from 3.5% estimate to where it is now, which is about 6.5%. That's now peaking. Earnings estimates have gone up 25%. We think they're about 3 or 4% of the way uh, through that process. So positioning is full, and we think September and October could be tricky months uh, for the market. So for all those reasons, we've moved to a, a more neutral view with actually some downside risk.